Have you experienced a Pokemon card game when you were a child and you really loved playing it? Well, this NFT project is for you, so stay tuned and watch until the end of the video. Welcome to the Crypto Kings YouTube channel. On this channel, our team works tirelessly to be your one-stop shop for crypto. Feel free to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss any of the great content we have planned for you. Also, if this video is helpful to you at all, please like this video and leave a comment with what type of video you'd love to see next. Alright, now let's dive into today's video. So in today's video, we'll talk about Polychain Monsters, also known as the Pimon Token. As you can see, this is a token with a relatively high price, owing this primarily to its total supply, which is listed as $9.1 million. This is a game that runs on Ethereum, Polygon, and Binance Smart Chain, which is really cool because you have many different networks here. Then you have their market cap, which says they have about 30 million on their market cap and $1.3 million in volume, which is mid-range actually. Here you can see that they were released recently at a very high price and have since dipped, implying that now is an excellent time to buy. It's been an excellent time to buy for quite some time actually. They came out early this year somewhere within quarter 1 or quarter 2. They have 30,000 people on their watch list as known here. Assume you look up their project information right here. In that case, their token distribution and their tokenomics where 10% goes to advisors, 20% goes to the foundation, and the private sale takes 33%. The public sale takes 3% and the team takes 10%. And if you scroll down, you'll see that they're already on KuCoin. They have accounts on Uniswap, Gate.io, and PancakeSwap. And those are all there, like Uniswap and PancakeSwap, because as previously stated, it is based on different blockchains, so that's one good feature about it. If you click right here, you'll be taken to their Twitter page, where you'll discover you can collect and play to earn. Collecting gaming allows you to open booster packs, discover ultra rare monsters, and earn weekly rewards. This is very similar to Pokemon cards, but not quite like NFTs. You're correct if you think that that's the case, but we're talking about the real Pokemon cards here, not the NFT version called Polychain Monsters. So if you scroll down here, you'll notice that they post, and that they're pretty active on Twitter, and they post multiple times a day. This demonstrates that they are more active and engaged with their community than, say, a Twitter account that barely posts. So you can see that they do have a giveaway going on right now, and they do a lot of good things, so that's another plus. Then they have around 110,000 followers, which is quite impressive, and you know it's a pretty solid number. It is also followed by the Binance NFT, which is the Binance NFT marketplace, launch zone, and those show that they too are looking for a project like this. And this guys is their website if you look right here. Collect ultra rare digital monsters and Pimon tokens, which are $9 per token, and experience the thrill of unveiling ultra rare digital monsters that only you can truly own, as they say. Then there's their open booster button if you're interested. You can supplement your collection by trading Pimon tokens. Polychain monsters are beautifully animated digital collectibles with varying scarcity, as you can see right here. Each Polychain Monster has its own NFT and can be unpacked with Pimon tokens. See, this looks like one of them, and it's supposed to be one of the rare ones. You can see the ultra rare NFTs if you scroll over here. You have the high liquidity token, which is in development because you know they're trying to increase their liquidity and trading and all that, as they said. The Hyper Deflationary. Each swap burns Pimon tokens, ensuring that the scarcity of your NFTs continue to rise, resulting in higher valued NFTs, and less supply means more demand, and higher prices. You've staked your claim, you have the cross chain which is currently being developed, but as you can see they're already on the trail of that cross chain because they've already established a different network. They're currently attempting to make it cross chain compatible. You can find the polyverse of Polychain Monsters if you scroll down below. You will see that this is typical of most NFTs. They come in various colors, glitter, 
importance and rarity levels. So these are the features of the NFTs that you would get from the Polychain Monsters if you open some boosters. Then there's the interconnected ecosystem of apps and marketplaces that function as a digital collectible. Polychain Monsters can be used by a rapidly expanding blockchain-based ecosystem. Polychain Monsters will appear in native mobile apps and widgets to speed up this process. So as you can see, the Polychain Monster collection is now available, and as you can see, they're also named after the coin that the skin, color, or type is based on, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Monero, and so on. You can already get it from the App Store and Google Play. There are mobile widgets and delightful apps. If you scroll down, you'll find a plethora of additional options for use. So if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you'll see that this is where you'd find their roadmap on their Medium page. If you want to learn more about them, visit their Medium page. Most projects are on Medium demonstrating what they want to do and where they want to go. The announcement of their plans to go cross-chain and make interacting with Pokemon more affordable and accessible is similar to what they want to do. You have alliances with Elrond and Polygon, both of which include a limited edition Pokemon. All these different goals they have you can see in less than 10 days that Pokemon made up most Chainlink requests of all time, and over 150,000 Pimon tokens were burned in the process. Then there's their actual vision, where they say, this is what they want to do. They want to be listed on exchanges. They want Pimon staking, NFT staking, Pokemon special editions. Then there are the statuses, rarity score, app release, and showcase collection. Then there's the Pokemon battle system, which they want to add, similar to Pokemon but not to be confused with Pokemon. Then there are the Pokemon music backgrounds and so on. That's what they're attempting to do. You can learn more about their team, and they have a docs team, which means that you can find out who's behind the team and what they're into, what they've done, and so on. They have their experience written under each team member, and if you scroll down, you'll see that they discuss their token. Our vision is best described as three layers that serve as the foundation for a modern and sustainable collectibles ecosystem. With the NFT-based decentralized ownership system supported by the ERC-20 token serving as the foundation. As you can see, this is quite similar to Polychain Islands, where you can collect ultra-rare digital monsters and produce resources to contribute to the thriving economy of Polychain Islands. And if you scroll down, you'll see the highlights of where you can earn money within the Polychain Islands ecosystem. As a result, they're not missing out on the play-to-earn aspect. Five battles in one tournament can earn IDO participation tickets. You know all the construct buildings and start businesses. Even crazier, it goes that you have the economy, buys land, builds production facilities, and harvests resources, builds factories, set up your marketplace, strengthen your Polymon with items, and then you have their land. As you can see here, you can build on the plots and farm on them. You have complete control over everything including paths, basically everything they're discussing. You can earn by harvesting, staking these resources, or staking your NFT and adding their token. Here you can see that there are various items and resources that can be used to level up your Palmon. This can also help you gain access to cash new Palmon, construct buildings, and combine them into a brand new asset. And here we have their battle mode. If you scroll down, this is basically where you get your Palmon and fight it against other Palmon. And as you can see, they have a lot of plans. This reminds me a lot of Pokemon. Most of these Pokemon projects are actually quite successful from what I've seen. You now have the Pokemon project. You have some other Pokemon related projects that are doing well. So this one also looks and stands out to us. Their design is visible and you can see their NFT collection if you scroll up. Their platforms have cross-chain compatibility and a variety of goals. And that's it for today's video. If you've learned something from this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the Crypto Kings, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. As always, if you have any concerns, questions, or ideas for our next video, please leave them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who support our channel, and we will see you again very soon in our next video.